Welcome to my Metroid Dread Collector's Edition unboxing. So let's get it open. So, nothing, uh, it's all just black there. Yeah, there's the thing. Put that to one side now. And we'll get a good look at what we first get. We get the lovely steel buck right there. And we we also get some cards, I think. Let's have a look. So, Metroid for the NES. The Game Boy, lovely. These are really nice cards. Super Nintendo. The Advance. And then Dread for the Switch, lovely. Try and get those back in there without damaging them. I'll do that later. Let's get on to the uh, steel buck. So it's a it's a beautiful steel buck. Lovely art, inside and out, back and front. And then we've got the game, obviously. And I actually have this sealed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sealed game in the collector's edition. And then... Yeah. <laughs> so this, is there... No, nothing... Is that supposed to be...? No? Okay. Yeah. Right, so that's the, uh, the next layer. And then we get onto the art book. But before we get onto the art book, I'm just going to show you the back. Some lovely artwork on the back of the box. Absolutely fantastic. This collector's edition is amazing and very cheap for uh, what it is. So we've got the art book here. I won't show everything, but I'll just flip to a few random pages in the art book. Look at that. Some of the the bad guys. Let's go there. On the Samus herself. And in different colours. Oh, look at that. Uh, just the amount of detail they put into these art books is amazing. You'd spend hours just flipping through the pages and examining everything. Absolutely fantastic. Sorry if my hands are in the way a little bit. Can't make them invisible, can we? <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. But yeah, let's put everything back together. And uh, give my final conclusions. My final verdict, even. So, um, I think this collector's edition is absolutely f just amazing. Uh, I'm not the biggest Metroid fan, to be honest with you. Uh, I've played a few of the games, uh, Dread not included yet, because I just picked this up two days ago. But yeah, I can't wait to give it a go now that I've got an open copy. And I'd probably rate this collector's edition a 7.5 out of 10, because mainly no statue. The artwork is, as I said, amazing. And obviously the steelbook and the, the art. And it's, it's just a very nice display piece as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.